presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, General Fu Yong Sen, chief of the intelligence department of the Chinese National Army at Shanghai, received a code message by carrier pigeon from Bluger's camp sent by Secret Service Operator 13. This message contained the information that Jungle Jim and Lynn Chalmers were held prisoners by Bluger and that the Purple Triangle forces were starting an attack on central Mongolia. Back at the Purple Triangle headquarters, Kolo failed in his attempt to deceive Bluger and was thrown into a cell where he was soon joined by Jungle Jim. There, Kolo and Jim were amazed to discover... Lynn Chalmers in the cell next to them. While this was taking place, Bluger had visited Shanghai Lil in her apartment in the castle and told her that she was to rule with him as the first white empress of China. Then Shanghai Lil made the amazing statement that she would do so only on condition that Jungle Jim and his companions be freed. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Have you suddenly gone completely mad, Lil? Or is this just another one of your stupid jokes? Oh, so you think my jokes are stupid, do you, Derek? Quit stalling, Lil. I've offered to share the throne of China with you. Why, that's an honor any woman in the world would be proud to accept. Yes, Derek, you offered to share the throne of China with me. But you have just about as much chance of making good on that offer as you have of giving me the moon. Oh, so that's it. You think I can't make good, eh? I don't think, Derek. I know. How do you know? Never mind that. Anyway, I I didn't definitely refuse you. But you said you'd never be my empress unless... I said, and I say it again, that I will never share a throne with you in China or any place else unless you free Jungle Jim and his companions. That sounds very like treason to me, Lil. And you know what I do to traitors. Oh, don't get yourself excited, Derek. It's bad for your blood pressure. I'm not going to take any more of that kind of talk from you, Lil. I'm running this show... And neither you nor anybody else can dictate to me. Those spies will die, and you'll marry me by force if necessary. Ah, so you're the big, bold dictator. Yes. And another thing. I'm just beginning to wonder at your sudden interest in this fellow Jungle Jim. Suppose we cut the melodrama, Derek, and talk sense. I am talking sense. Now listen to me. Jungle Jim and Lynn Chalmers are American citizens. I know that. And Jim was sent here by the American consul. Yes, and I send them both back to the American consul, dead. And just about that time, Derek, you'll have a force of Uncle Sam's Marines up here. (laughs) Then you'll know what trouble really is. Ah, you can't scare me, Lil. I'm giving you facts, Derek, that I hope will penetrate that fat head of yours. Careful, Lil. You may get away with your conspiracy against the Chinese central government. I have gotten away with it. That's what you think. But when you begin to monkey with Uncle Sam, you might just as well kiss yourself and the Purple Triangle cause goodbye. Now listen to me, Lil, and get this straight. I'll handle my own affairs in my own way, with no help from you. Oh. Now, for the last time, do you want to be my empress when I rule China as its first white emperor? I'll give you my answer when you have freed Jungle Jim and his friends. Very well, Lil. If that's your answer, you can consider yourself a prisoner in this apartment. My Derek. There'll be a sentry posted at this door with orders to allow no one to enter except myself or Lin Poo. Why, you don't mean... You and I'll settle this affair later. Why, I, I warn you, Derek, you're, you're acting like a fool. Yeah? Well, we'll see about that, Lil.
the time this scene between Lil and Bluger was taking place, Jungle Jim was trying to reassure Lynn Chalmers that he would be able to devise a plan for their escape. You really think we'll be able to get out of here, Jim? I've almost given up hope. Now listen, Lynn. We've been in some pretty tight places before, and we've always managed to get out. You haven't forgotten Borowani, have you? No, Jim, I haven't forgotten. But that was different. At least we had a chance to escape there. But here it seems so hopeless. I think I've got a plan, plan, Lil, to get us out of here before long. What is it, Jim? I can't tell you now. I haven't got all the details worked out. But I'll give you my answer before very long. Why, well, Jim, sentry, come back. All right, Colo. How are you holding yourself up to that little transom, Jim? I don't know. I almost slipped a little while ago. I'm standing on Colo's shoulders and holding on to these bars up here. Is your cell just the same as mine? Yeah, they're exactly alike. Well, then I don't see how we're ever going to get... The sentry, you come. What are you doing there, prisoners? Oh, just taking a little exercise. Gets kind of cramped in these close quarters. Other place be fixed for you pretty soon. Maybe you know like that so good. What do you mean, Twan Jim? No, oh, he probably thinks we're going to be taken out in the courtyard and stood up against the wall in front of a firing squad. You think they do it, Twan Jim? No, Colo. He and his renegade partners are going to be disappointed. We're getting out of here. When Derek Bluger left the apartment of Shanghai Lil, he went directly to the office of his chief of staff, Lin Pu, where he explained Shanghai Lil's defiance and ordered Lin Pu to take every precaution to guard Lil against escape. Lin Pu left immediately to check up on the sentries in Lil's wing of the castle. Sentry. Yes, Excellency. Come to attention when you speak to me. Yes, Excellency. Did the guard officer give you your orders? Yes, Excellency. Repeat them to me. I am to permit no one to pass except Most High Superior or Your Excellency. Yes. What else? That white missy, friend of Most High Superior, not allowed to leave apartment. Good. See that these orders are carried out. Yes, Excellency. <laughs> now, Shanghai leave. <laughs> Who's there? It is Lin Pu, Shanghai Lil. I am most sorry to disturb you. Not half as sorry as I am, you fat fool. I am coming in, Shanghai Lil. Well, I can't stop you. Come on. I am most sorry, Shanghai Lil, to find you like this. Oh, yeah. don't waste your sympathy on me, you lemon-faced boy scout. If you only knew it, you're in a tougher spot than I am. Most High Superior ordered me to come here, Shanghai Lil. Well, I can't thank him for that. No? He says you have turned traitor to our great cause. Now, get this straight, Lin Pu. I haven't done anything of the kind. No? No. I'm just trying to take care of myself. And if you're wise, you'll do the same thing. I have supreme confidence in our cause and its leader. Well, if you knew all I'd do, you wouldn't have. No? No. You'd be looking for the nearest exit. I am listening, Shanghai Liu. You know, Lin Pu, I've always liked you. Yes? <laughs> yes, I have. It makes me mad to see the way Derek Bluger's pulling the wool over your eyes. This is most interesting. <laughs> Continue, please. What would you say if I told you I had proof that Derek Bluger is planning to sell the whole Purple Triangle cause, and you along with it, to the national government at Shanghai? I would be very much interested to see the proof and, and learn how you get it. All right. I'll tell you. I'm a secret agent of the national government at Shanghai. Lily de Vril. Yes. And I know everything that's going on around here. You? 
A secret agent? Yes. You are a spy, then. Most high superior was right. I'm not a spy, you fool. Uh, no? <laughs> that is all I want to know, Shanghai Lil. Most high superior will be most interested. Yeah, where are you going? Uh, can you not guess? Come back here. I'll tell you something else. Yes? Yeah. I happen to know that Derek is suspicious of you. What? Is most high superior suspicious of me? Yes. And if I were to tell him a little story, you'd find yourself backed up against a stone wall facing a firing squad. Why, that is Im- impossible. I... And I don't think you'd like that view. I am no traitor, Shanghai Lil. There is no true story you can tell our most high superior that would prove me one. Ah, there you have it. I didn't say anything about a true story, Lin Fu. Uh, you wouldn't dare to... Oh, don't say it, my fat and oily friend. It isn't polite to tell a lady she lies. Uh, you cannot frighten me, Shanghai Lil. Just think it over, Lin Fu. There have been messages leaving here for Shanghai. And your name is signed to them. I, I sign no messages. That's what you say. It isn't true, I... All right, General uh... Lin Fu. You come back here at 12 o'clock tonight and I'll prove it to you. Now, get out. While Shanghai Lil and Lin Fu were having their discussion, Kolo and Jim wait for the guard to bring their supper. We no get much to eat here, Tuan Jim. Oh, as much as we can expect, Kolo. But I am getting awfully tired of eating rice twice a day. Rice, good, but not too much. Well, we're going to have some more of it, if I'm not mistaken. I hear it coming now. Yes, sir. Sentry, he come. Here, you two. Thanks. Well, Colo, here's our rice. At least there's plenty of it. I was say, what's this, Colo? Looks like we got something else tonight. What we got, one, Jim? I don't know. Let's open it up and see. Why, it's bread. Say, we'll have a regular banquet tonight, Colo. Yes, it's one. Now, look, here's a piece for you and one for me. Colo, no eat bread for a long time. Boy, neither have I. But we can be thankful for small favors. Look, look, Tuan Jim. What is it, Colo? I find something in bread. What? Piece of paper. Quick, Colo, hand it here. What does it say, Tuan? Colo, my hunch about getting out of here was right. This is a message from a friend. What is it, Tuan? Listen, I'll read it to you. Tonight, a new sentry will guard your cell. Watch him closely. Signed, Operator 13. What will the new sentry do? Will he give Jungle Jim that long-awaited chance for escape? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly. The big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the playful antics of Skippy and his pals, the difficulties of Jiggs and Maggie in bringing up father, the weird adventures of Barney Google, and the eternal mischief of the Katzenyammer kids, also Judge Piffle in Room and Board, the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon, there's Toots and Casper, the Little King, and many, many others. See all these characters in your copy of the Big Comic Weekly, and don't forget our radio date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. (laughs) 